Hey guys, today, if you are ever in the situation where you have an equation in point slope form and you need it in slope intercept form, oh my gosh, you're in the right place. Everyone needs to know how to do this, okay? So I'm going to teach you today and you can thank me later or now. All right, so we are currently in point slope form. Okay, but they, whoever they are, they don't want point slope form. They want slope intercept form. So how do we do that? All we need to do is we want this Y all by itself, right? So we need to simplify it. So Y is all by itself. Okay, the first thing I need to do is over here, we don't want all these parentheses. They're kind of in our way. We want to get rid of them. So what we're going to do is call distribute. Okay. Now we have X minus three here. These aren't like terms, so I can't combine them. And so normally I would be stuck except this beautiful thing called the distributive property fixes it. Okay. What the distributed property tells us is that I can multiply this negative three in here, even though I can't subtract those. Okay. Really quick. Let me show you this. If you don't care, then just plug your ears for the next 15 seconds, but I hope you care. The reason this works is because if I have two times three plus four and I multiply the two times the three, I get six. Then I multiply the two times the four, I get eight. I add those together, I get 14, okay? Now, if I were to add those first, three plus four gives me seven. Two times seven is 14. Oh my gosh, it works. And because it works, they're like, we're gonna call you a property. You are the distributive property. So now, in an occasion where I can't add or subtract those, I know it'll still be mathematically correct if I distribute that negative three and I multiply it. Okay, so now when I do that, I've got y minus 5 still over here equals negative 3 times x just gives me a negative 3x. All right, negative 3 times negative 3, a negative times a negative always gives me a positive. 3 times 3 is 9. All right, we're getting a little closer, right? I need to get rid of this 5. As long as I add the same thing to both sides, my equation stays true. So I'm gonna add five over here and add it over here. I add it with like terms. All right, negative five and positive five go away, there is zero. So I'm left over here with y equals a negative three x, nine plus five is 14. And guess what? That is now in slope-intercept form. Not too bad, right? Now I could graph that pretty easily. Okay, one more for good luck. Oh my gosh, this one has a fraction. Don't worry, it'll be okay. All right, again, I'm going to distribute this in. Normally, I would subtract first, but I can't because they're not like terms, okay? So... When I do that, over here stays the same. Y plus four equals, I've got negative one half times X, which just gives me negative one half X. I just write them next to each other. Then I've got negative one half times negative 10. Okay, a negative times a negative is a positive. And then I can think of this as what's half of 10? Oh, well, five. Not too bad, right? Almost done. I want y completely alone. Again, as long as I add or subtract or whatever the same from both sides, it keeps my equation true and balanced. So I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. These go to a 0. So I'm left with y equals negative 1 half x. 5 minus 4 gives me 1. Guess what? That is slope intercept form. All right, you're all done. Hopefully that made sense and you can get to bed.
and have dreams of meth that aren't nightmares. <laughs>